Can you ever get used to the smell of a cadaver? Um, it's pretty disgusting. I don't <laughs> think so. In fact, I, I just popped back home briefly and um, walked in the door, and my wife was like, you're going to get rid of those clothes. <laughs> the rare Amorphophallus titanum, or corpse flower, is in bloom at the Massachusetts Horticultural Society, and those who come to see are encouraged to take a sniff. And what you're smelling is this incredible stench that it's pushed out. Um, this spadix up the middle is acting as a thermal power plant. It's mm -hmm. heated up 20 degrees hotter than the ambient temperature, and it's pumping this smell out to attract carrion beetles. And as I raise it up, you can see... As we look through thermal imaging, you can see that the stem is warmer than the rest of the plant. That's what's producing that strong, stinky smell that began on Sunday evening. I started smelling about uh, 6 p.m. Um, 2 a.m., 4 a.m. tonight would have been peak stench. Um, it's still pumping out the stench. Yeah. It'll keep doing that through the morning, certainly. Um, and then it'll probably start to fade away mid-afternoon today. For the last 24 hours, this place has been a buzz with people walking through and spending just a couple of minutes with the corpse flower. <laughs> what was your first initial reaction? You know, excitement, really. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's... It's fascinating how a plant is able to do that. Yeah, the petunias, before you come in, everything smells very nice and sweet. They sort of trick you. <laughs> this is something we sort of needed middle of the summer. Dog days of summer and you get something like this, it's pretty magical. People are enamored.